Sabbath peace. Sabbath peace. It's another opportunity for us to hear and learn of the word of truth that's given to us by the Most High God. All honor goes to the Father through the Son, whose name is Yahushua. In him lies the only hope for salvation. We know that it is obtained by grace through faith, not of works, lest anyone should boast, and given freely as a gift to all who obey him. We understand that if you do not obey him, it is made manifest or made obvious that you do not believe. In this state, you should expect no good thing from the Most High. However, anything that you do give, whether it be a gift of tongues or a gift of prophecy or any supernatural experience that you may have, it can and it will be used against you in the day of judgment. With that said, peace to the saints that are in the room, to the saints that couldn't make it, to the saints watching in. But no peace to the wicked. The only thing we say to them is repent that they might live. Let's open it on up to uh, Matthew chapter 24. I don't know exactly what I want, but let's say it's around verse 21. It's Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. Give me verse 19. It's Matthew chapter 24, verse 19. Come on in here, black boy. Go get that to your mom. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. So not 19. I mean verse 19. My bad. I think 21 when I want, but we'll see. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Uh huh. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath. Uh huh. Sabbath day. For then shall be a great tribulation, tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world, uh -huh. to this time, nor ever shall be. Uh huh. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Uh huh. But for the elect's sake, those days were shortened. Okay. Shall be shortened. Then if a man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the Messiah, or or there, believe it not. Right? There's a lot of people running around trying to tell us, Lo, here's the Messiah. Or there, he telling you, don't believe they butts. He trying to let you know, he trying to give you the sign. He said, don't believe they butts. Look, he over here. No, nah, don't believe they butts. Let's hear about it. Where are they going to be? For there shall arise false messiahs and false prophets, and uh -huh. shall show great signs and wonders, uh -huh. insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Uh -huh. Behold, I have told you before. For that, what reason? That's why if they say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, uh -huh. go not forth. He said, Behold, if he's where? In the desert. He said, Don't go where? Go not forth. He said, Don't be believing that stuff. It's people right now. It's in the middle of the desert in Israel. Try to tell you, like, yeah, man, this, you know what I'm saying? this is where you got to go. This is the temple. You know what I'm saying? This is where you really find Jesus. Okay. I know where not to go. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I'm going to take my butt right back where I am. There's a lot of people. Flee Babylon. They call it Babylon. They say, flee Babylon. <laughs> All right? They call it play Babylon. They don't know what the word talking about. All right? They talk about flee Babylon. They don't know Babylon the whole darn world. You know what I'm saying? How you going to flee whole darn world and the most high God ain't gave you an escape yet? He ain't even opened up the place for us to go yet. Where are you going to flee to? I'm going to leave America and go to Egypt. Same place he already told us, don't you return. The way I told you, you would not come back. And you went anyway. But guess where your butt going to go? Right darn to Egypt. That's I'm going I'm to flee Babylon. Guess where I'm going? I'm going to Europe. Oh, that's okay. That make a whole lot of darn sense. You got one of these preachers. One of, these, one of these Hebrew teachers, he teach out of Europe. He teaches people to flee to Egypt, though. And he tell them America is Babylon, but he go to Europe. What's the darn difference? You know what I'm saying? Why did he go to Egypt? <laughs> Black butt ain't going no darn Egypt. You know them people just racist out there they are in America. Matter of fact, probably worse. Look at your black butt. You better sit your butt down somewhere. You better deal with whatever oppression you started out with, the one you used to. You know what I'm saying? At least that one you used to it. You know it. You know what to expect. It don't make no sense. I'm going to go all the way to Egypt, spend all this darn money, thinking it's about to be honky-dory out there. Then you got this Arab that's racist against you? It was this girl. Um, it's a rapper. It's a, you know what I'm saying? She a rapper. She is on uh, the Breakfast Club talking about it. She said she went to Israel. I think we talked about this before. She said she went to Israel. 
And she is like, there's races out there. She is like, I think it's different. You know, she is like, it's a different type of race. She is like, if I'm a, she is like, you know, there's races everywhere. I deal with racism here, but if I'm going to deal with it, I'm going to deal with it at home. I ain't going to go. Why am I going to go on vacation to deal with racism? That don't even make no darn sense. That way people try, my wife tries to say, let's just go to Israel. Let's just buy, I'm like, yeah. Somebody give it to me for free. I ain't paying no money. I ain't about to pay. I ain't about to pay a bunch of money and go, so go out there and deal with, see all these people in my land and they don't want to give it up. If I go there, I might just be ready to fight. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Most high God said he going to get himself drenched in blood. He said, I'm going to be clean. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get out there and not just start, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, just the spirit hit me. You know what I'm saying? Just like, ah, it's my land. You know what I'm saying? Trying to kick that thing off early. You ain't going to fight nobody you know what I'm out saying? there. Them boys walking around with 50 cows. You ain't doing nothing. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. I'll take some chances yeah, over the land. Yeah, you never yeah. know what. You never know what come under. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. You get in the land, you might, you know, you just get a sprite. Like, yeah, yeah. We ain't done some stupid stuff in the land. You know what I'm saying? We ain't done some, some crazy stuff in the land. We don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just a matter of education. Man. It's just a matter of making sure that we had the proper information that these people can't just come along and just tell us anything. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, yeah, he here, come come run to the desert. I ain't running no darn desert. You take yourself in the darn desert and burn up, boy. I'm in a desert already. What am I going to go to another desert for? At least my desert got a couple casinos. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple nice pools I can go to. What they call it? Tau? You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no Tau in, 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 uh, in, the, in the Israel desert. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? At least you got a little Tau. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the kids go to. Keep reading. Where we at? Behold, I have told you before. Uh -huh. Therefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Uh -huh. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. He said, if they try to tell you the Messiah is in the secret chamber, he said, yeah, okay. Yeah, now I know where not to go. Keep going. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even unto the west, uh -huh. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Uh -huh. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. So basically what he's trying to tell you is, you're going to see him. He said, just like lightning flash, you ain't never seen no lightning flash. You look up, and it's just like, oh, well, no, I didn't even see that lightning. Everybody in the city going to see it. He said, just like how that is, everybody in the world going to know when he coming. He said, just like how lightning flash and everybody in the city see it, that's how it's going to be for the whole world. Everybody going to see him coming. He said, don't let nobody sit here and tell you, oh, he over here, follow me. That don't make no darn sense. When he show up, everybody going to know. What you talking about? Y'all better learn some word. Let these people just lie to you, and you start Start walking, you walking after this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Start trying to do the stuff they do. We line they butt up with this word. Keep going. That ain't what I'm looking for, though. I think it might be a little before, but keep going. So wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Uh-huh. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. Grab uh, verse 17 for me. That's, maybe that's what I want. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his verse house. Verse 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of destiny. There we go. That's what I want. This is verse 15. This is Matthew chapter 24, excuse me, verse 15. He said what? Excuse me. Uh-huh. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet. He said Daniel the prophet spoke of abominations that make it desolation. So it's something that's abominable, abominable something that God hates, right? That's going to make stuff desolate, going to destroy some stuff. Right? He said, the thing, the hateful thing that makes desolation, that makes destruction. He said, when you see that, what's going to happen? Stand in the holy place. He said, stand where? Stand in the holy place. Uh-huh. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So, the abomination that maketh desolation going to end up standing in the holy place. He says, when you see it, what's going to happen? Then let them which be in Judah flee into the mountains. If you in Judah, you flee into the mountains. What else? Let them which is in the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. He said, wherever you at at that point, keep going. Right? Don't try to go back in the house and grab nothing. What else? Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Uh-huh. You in the field, keep keep working. I mean, uh, don't keep working. Don't try to get your clothes. Get your butt out of Dodge. Right? Keep going. Think the woe unto them that are with child and them that give suck uh, in those still ain't what I want. What am I looking for? Well, when he say what? That was 15. Give me, uh, yeah. give me 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Uh huh. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Uh huh. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation mm. spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. I want where he say, uh, you know what I'm saying, Jerusalem be led out in the many nations. You know what I'm saying, taken captive. 
times of the Gentiles. That's before that? Mm, hold on, let me find it. What verse 10 say? And then shall many of the fend many shall many, then shall many be offended and shall betray one another, and many false prophets shall deceive many. Hmm. <laughs> Why uh See it in there either? Probably in Luke. Is it Luke? Hmm, let me see. You gonna check Luke for me? Check Luke uh Luke nineteen. Uh brother check it. Luke nineteen, and we're gonna keep looking at Matthew twenty twenty-four. My brain's telling me here. I thought it was uh I think uh Gotta be Matthew 24. I ain't going crazy. We just missing mm. it somewhere. You don't see nothing about times of the Gentiles? Luke chapter 19. Give me Luke 19, 19. Maybe start around there. You know what I'm saying? Read a little bit before, a little bit after. See, see if you see anything about the times of the Gentiles or, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, our people being led captive. Still don't see it? All right, well, you know what I'm saying? We'll call that one quits. Let's go ahead and open up the Deuteronomy chapter 27. No, 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 no. This is important. Just let me cheat real quick. Because, you know what I'm saying? You want, you want that. Then Matthew 24. We, you know what I'm saying? We probably read right over it. It's Luke 21, bro. Luke 21? Yeah. What? It's in Luke. It ain't Matthew 24 at all? No. Nope. That's a cold game there. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the most I got. I told you it might be Luke. This is Luke, this is Luke chapter 21, verse what? 19, I think. Let me check. It's Luke 21. Let's look at verse 19. Let's see what it's talking about. It's the stuff he knows, you know what I'm saying? Cutting off circulation to my brain, that's all, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can't think properly. Need to drink more water. That's what the brother told me. The brother told me I need to drink more water. You know what I'm saying? Loosen that thing up a little bit. He said it's sticky up there, you know what I mean? All right, so here we go. We'll start at 17. All right, so this is Luke chapter 21, verse 17. Is what I was looking for. Let's see. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Uh huh. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. Uh huh. In your patience. You want to know what's crazy? You want to know what's crazy? When the Romans came took and took our land, you know why they came and took it? Are part of the reason why they came and took it? Because of the rebellion. Because of the Messiah. Right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of our people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of our people, we started, we started to follow after the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? So when we started to follow after the Messiah, they're looking like, oh, we don't even like how y'all doing. Y'all trying to shut. Y'all trying to, y'all, y'all turned to, so it used to be when we, naturally in our nation, we wouldn't really bother other people. We just kind of, we kind of stuck up. We just, you know, kind of looked down at everybody else. We just kind of like, well, oh, that's just a Gentile. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't bother you. We wasn't trying to get you to become like us. It wasn't nothing. When we start following the Messiah, that thing became an open invitation to all the Gentiles. So when, you know, it's, you got a person who believe what they believe, but they don't mess with you, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, all right, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But now when there's an opportunity, when Gentile can look at it and be like, I want to be that, and it's like, oh, if you want to be that, come on. Like before, the Gentile could want to be like us, but then, you know, they had to, like, join our nation. Like, you have to actually be a part of our nation. It was like a citizenship, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it wasn't just like, hey, I'm a Gentile, I'm living in Rome, and, I just want to be a Jew now. You know what I'm saying? It's like that thing wasn't that simple. It could work out. That thing just wasn't that simple, and it wasn't no invitation to do it. You know what I'm saying? So now with y'all, shoot, it was like they could see us and be like, hey, I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to be like y'all. And then we turn around and be like, oh, yeah, for sure. And you should tell your friends too. You know what I'm saying? You should tell them they sit it they come around you with that stuff. Matter of fact, you tell them this, that, nothing. So now this thing starting to spread. You know what I'm saying? That thing starting to spread. They're looking at that like, uh, 
Now, that ain't going to work. On top of that, our people freaking out because we looking like y'all Romans is treating us bad. So you got both of these things happening all at one time. You know what I'm saying? And we start to try to work that thing out. He said, for your, my name's sake, they're going to hate you. Keep going. Watch this. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Uh-huh. But there shall not a hair on your head perish. He said, not a head on your darn head going to perish. He ain't talking to everybody. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Some of them, some of them folk darn, darn perish. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You know what I'm saying? Some of them going right to darn hell. Right? Keep going. In your patience possess ye your souls. That's right. And we you shall see when you shall see Jerusalem compressed, compassed with armies, uh -huh. and know that the desolation thereof is near. Right? So that's the same thing that Matthew 24 was talking about, the abomination that make it desolate. You know what I'm saying? He said, when you see it, you just know. In other when he say compassed, he said surrounded. You know what I'm saying? When you see Jerusalem surrounded, you just know the desolation is near. That thing about to be destroyed. He's letting them know right now. He's like, listen, when they surround Jerusalem, I just want you to know for sure this thing about to be destroyed. He gave them a the heads up. And he can't just say it because he want to say it. Who he get it from? The prophet. Got it from Daniel. Who told him before that? Isaiah. Ezekiel told him. Yeah. Isaiah too. You know what I'm saying? But Ezekiel told him. Ezekiel told him, he's like, but look, it's going to be, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? He said, he, he told Ezekiel, take your hair, you know what I'm saying? Shave your head, you know what I'm saying? After you shave your head, I want you to slice the hair three three different sections. What are you saying about three sections? What's going to happen to the first one? He said, the first one is going to fall by the sword. Oh, right? It's like that thing fall by the sword. I don't know the word. You know what I'm saying? The one is going to be fire. Yeah. Then what are you saying with that last one, though? The other one, you scatter in the wind. He said, he's going to scatter in the wind. But it's one more that, you know what I'm saying? He said three, yeah. right? But it's one more a lot of people didn't catch. What was that last one? Tuck it in your belt. He said, he said, take a couple of them and put them in your belt. These going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? He told her, these going to be all right. Tuck them in your belt. He said, everybody else, you scatter them in the wind. You drop them in the darn fire. You chop they darn butt up. That represented us. We are running around. That's representing what Yahushua was about to talk about right now. Right? It's a group of us. They ran us off into Africa. Right? It's some of us that went into captivity and we as slaves in Rome. Right? And it was some of, some of us that just got killed right on the spot. Right? Some of us went into the fire, captivity. Some of us got killed right there on the spot, the sword. Right? And some of us got scattered to the wind, got ran off into Africa. But then there was some of them right by the belt. Y'all gonna be alright. You ain't even gotta worry about it. It was some of them right by the belt. They did all right. Right? They got recognition in Rome. You know what I'm saying? Some of them got to stay in the land. Believe it or not, you look at the history, some of us got to stay in the land after a period of time. Right? And got to die peacefully in the land. Right? Very few, but you know what I'm saying? Some of us got to stay. He said, some of them, y'all going to be all right. Y'all don't even worry about it. Right? It's all, it all come down to obedience. What group we want to be a part of? Are we going to obey God and be a part of a group? Are we going to disobey and then have our, 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 have our butt scattered or put in the fire to the sword? That's what it all come down to. So Yahushua coming back and he reminded the people, he let the people know, oh, this thing ain't coming. Y'all thought, y'all thought, Ezekiel, you thought that already happened? Oh, this is coming. He trying to let you know this is coming right now. All right, let's see. Keep going. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then uh -huh. know that the desolation thereof is nigh. That's right. Then let them which are in Judah flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of the city, in the midst of it, depart out. And uh -huh. let not them that are in the countries enter thereinto. Mm -hmm. For there shall be days of vengeance that all things. There shall be what? Days of vengeance. Days of vengeance. What does vengeance mean? Revenge. The Most High God said, I need that. There shall be days when all this stuff I've been telling y'all and warning y'all about, I need it. Y'all think the man be playing. You know what I'm saying? Just because he take a long time. Y'all think the man be playing. All right. Keep going. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe to them that are with child and them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. Uh huh. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. They shall fall by the edge of the sword, and they shall be led away captive into what? All nations. Into all nations. So if you led captive into all nations, how in the world do you escape Babylon? 
Don't let these people lie to you. You're going to leave America and then go to another nation where your people are captive. He just told read it one more time. Because people be thinking I'm lying or I'm making stuff up. I want y'all to read along. How many nations you going to escape to? And you shall be led away captive into and all And escape nations. all into the white nations. All nations. I mean, you're going to be led captive into the white nations only. Because certainly, you know what I'm saying, don't nobody else enslave us. Only the white people, right? All nations. Please. Before these white folk got their hands on us, the air running our slave they running the slave trade like crazy in the Middle East. And it was mostly women. They took our women for the most part. It was sex slavery. They used to run us all down the darn the, the, the east coast of Africa. Up there through Turkey. You know what I'm saying? Sell us to the Europeans. Where do you think the Europeans got it from? You know how they you know how the Europeans told us that ham, you know what I'm saying, we had the curse of ham, because we had black skin. That's how they justify uh, slavery. Who you think they got that from? All right now, you can look it up. That's on record. The first person that ever came up with that theory was an Arab. Thousands of years ago. At least a thousand years ago. You think the white people came up with that? They ain't come up with that stuff. In a, in a small way, these white people were victims. They was told these lies and made to believe this stuff from these Arabs. Then you got, then you got uh, what's his name? Farrakhan. You know what I'm saying? Gonna come to you and tell you, you should be a Muslim. Black Muslim is like the biggest sellout ever. You are, you crazy. You lost your darn like, mind. Like, like worse than the Christians. I should like, be a Muslim. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Look, this, you know what they tell us? The Muslims, right? You know what the Muslims used to tell us? And they still tell us. Stop believing the slave master's religion. What's Islam, boy? Our slave master here who believe Christianity, so they say. You know what I'm saying? They got they stuff from you. In terms of how they treat black people. But the people don't know the history. Nobody opened up the books and looked, and looked at history with them. Nobody opened up the book and said, okay, this is what the prophecy say. Who going to get us? The Muslims started all that stuff. It was like, what they say? Uh, Muhammad of the sword. Islam of the sword. Islam of the sword. That was their yeah. moniker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can take this. and you, If you not of our nation or of our religion, you can get it. That's what they said. It was like, you either convert to Muslim or Islam or you it's dead. And our people was escaping all over the place. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to go. That's that's the that's the people getting scattered off to the wind. Like I read like every time we would like settle somewhere, trouble would come and then we run again and then settle right. somewhere and then run again and then it was just a big old cycle. These people don't know the history. Nobody taught us our history. You know what I'm saying? They try to make us feel like, you know what I'm saying, well we don't really got no history, so where we go? We just go grasping for straws. We just tell you, hey, I'm a Zulu. You know what I'm saying? I'm of the Zulu nation. You know what I'm saying? I'm an Egyptian. You know what I'm saying? We just take whatever, whatever, whatever is popular. You know what I'm saying? We take it. That ain't how it work. Your nationality connect to something. You think all Africans are saying that disrespect? Well, they look at you like you're crazy. You went over there talking that foolishness. Boy, ain't the same as you. You better cut that stuff out. My people ain't never been slaves. They'll tell you to your darn face. My people ain't never. Don't even disrespect me like that. I'm an African. My people ain't never been a slave. Yeah, y'all, they know who we are. Y'all are Hebrews. Don't try to don't go that. Tell y'all some, they call it Evwe over there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all some Evwe people. You know what I'm saying? Ebos. You know what I'm saying? They got different names, different degrees. Y'all, y'all the Ebo. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't associate with y'all. We don't mess. They don't even mess with us over there. You got Ebos right now. You know what I'm saying? They over there in Africa get mistreated by the Europeans and the other Africans. That's Muslim. Talking about a slave master religion. Stop lying to these people. Let's open up the book. They lie to us and tell us Christianity is made up by the white man to enslave us. That's a lie. Christianity wasn't made up by the white man to enslave us. Christianity was made up by the white man. It's true. And the white man enslaved us. True. But they weren't made up by the white man to enslave us. That thing just kind of worked out that way. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It just kind of worked out that way. That thing happened. So you know what I'm saying? I'm blaming them for it. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody put the Bible together to enslave black people. That's crazy. Have you read this? We talked about it last week. It was against our law. If a slave escaped, where he going to live? Daniel, where he lived? I, I'm a slave. I come to your house. What does our law tell me I got to do? I pick out my spot in your hood. I mean, look, man, I just escaped my master. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? he been kicking my butt, but I don't want him to go through that no more. I want to sleep right there. All right, man, let me go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and get you. You know what I'm saying? I got some sheets. In the cupboard, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and hook you up. 
What you gonna do? That's our law. He can go back there and make a claim against you against the law. You a lawbreaker at that point. Judges might say, all right, cut him off. Take your whole darn house. These people don't, yeah, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't. You know what the problem is? We we just never been taught. Go ask TJ. If we had taught this stuff, this stuff would be way different. Go ask TJ. It'd be way different. Right? And it all starts with our law. That's why we talk about the law. It all starts with our law. That's why we read through Genesis. That's why we read through. We'll come out to Genesis. Exodus. Exodus. We'll come out to Exodus. Leviticus. Leviticus. We'll come out to that. Numbers. Numbers. And then we have to end off with what? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. And that's our law. Right? Once we read our law and we understand what the foundation is for this entire book. Right? Our foundation for understanding who Yahushua is. Understanding how these things played out. Understanding the character of God. Then we can start building stuff on top of it and say, okay, we got a strong foundation now. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people never been taught. A lot of people not even interested in it. But let's go ahead and put it together. Right? Let's start putting it together. Let's start figuring out how things work. Let's learn our history. Not just the history that we have in the book, which we got plenty of history in the book. A lot of people don't know. This is our history. Let's not just learn the history in our book. Let's learn some of our history outside the book. All the stuff these people didn't kept from us. They didn't lie to us. Our history is written in Arabic. They know everything about us in Arabic. I took, I took three weeks and looked and tried to decode and find people to translate. And the stuff I found in three weeks was mind blowing. All it took three weeks. Imagine if I just had a team of people that we could just look into this all day. The type of stuff we had in three weeks, me. You know what I'm saying? Don't know a lick of Arabic. I'm just Googling, you know what I'm saying? Doing a little research, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get online books and all this type of stuff. In three weeks, I find stuff that was mind blowing. Imagine if I had more time. Imagine if I had a day job. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if I had a team of people. Imagine if it was like two more of people who think even smarter than I do and just looking at this stuff. It's out there. There ain't nobody trying to teach it to us. Let's get back to this book. It's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 27. Let's talk about the book. Deuteronomy chapter 27. Give me verse 1. We're going to try to shoot through this. A little more water, I guess. In Deuteronomy chapter 27. Verse 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. Uh huh. And it shall be on the day when ye shall pass over Jordan unto the land uh -huh. which the Lord God gives thee, that thou shalt set thee up great stones and plaster Plaster them with plaster. So you're going to plaster them with plaster. You're going to set up great stones and plaster them with plaster. What you going to do with the stones? Thou shalt write upon them all, you the, gonna words, do what? all the words of this law. You're going to write upon them every word of this law. How are you going to do it? You're going to do it cryptically? Right. Keep going. When thou art passed over, thou mayest go in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Uh-huh. A land flowing with milk and honey. Yep. As the Lord God of thy fathers has promised thee. Uh-huh. Therefore, it shall be when ye have gone over Jordan that ye set up these stones. You're going to set up the stones, you. and you're going to do what? This day in Mount Ebal, and thou shalt plaster them with plaster. Uh-huh. And there shalt thou build an altar unto the Lord thy God. And well, how are you going to build it? Well, how many tools are you going to use? An altar of stone. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not lift up any iron tool upon them. You talking about the law ain't changed? Boy, what's wrong with you? Why don't you put no tool on that? You got to set them things up just how you found them. Then what you going to do with it? What you going to burn on there? Thou shalt build the altar of the Lord thy God of whole stones, and thou shalt offer burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. And thou shalt offer peace offerings, and shalt eat there. Uh huh. And rejoice before the Lord thy God. Okay. And thou shalt write upon the stones all the words of this law very plainly. Okay. And you gonna hold on? You gonna write the, all the words of this law? How you gonna write them? Plainly. He said, "Don't try to make that thing confusing for people. You put it in there just how I said it, very plainly." You'll notice that the law, you know why people shy away from the law? That's the most straightforward part of the book. Simple and plain. He tell your butt straight up, don't do this, don't do that, make sure you do this, don't forget to do that, very clear. That thing be, that thing be clear cut. People be like, uh, well, you know, they like that wiggle room. Right? The New Testament, all that, all the New Testament is trying to do, it's trying to, it's trying to fill gaps for you. You know what I'm saying? Like mysterious stuff. You know what I'm saying? Fill gaps. So it makes people feel like it's wiggle room there. The only reason they think it's wiggle room because they don't know our law. Right? Once you put everything together, it's like, ain't no darn wiggle room. 
Ain't nothing changed. We still in the same game, still dealing with the same guy. He got the same principles. He looking at stuff the same way, and he'll kick your butt right out of the kingdom. What's wrong with you? Y'all, she would make that thing clear. They just blind themselves from it. Keep going. And Moses and the priests, the Levites, spake unto all Israel, saying, Take heed and hearken, O Israel, this day thou art become a people of the Lord thy God. That's right. Thou shalt therefore obey the voice of the Lord thy God and do his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That's right. And Moses charged the people the same day, saying, These shall stand upon Mount Gerizim to uh -oh. bless the people. Uh-oh. When ye are come over Jordan, uh -huh. Simeon and Levi and Judah and Issachar and Joseph Simeon, and Benjamin. Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, Benjamin. Y'all stand on one side. And these shall stand up on Mount Ebal to curse. Uh-huh. Reuben, Gad, Asher, and Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. Right? So half our tribes on one side, half our tribes on the other side. Right? He tried to line it up for us to let us know. Let me show you. Know what I'm I just want to make sure I show y'all. You know let, let me see if I can find this thing for y'all. Let me see here. I just want y'all to have like a little visual. The visual of how this thing like work out, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So that's how that thing look. All right, that's how that thing look. You know what I'm saying? You got you got a mountain on this side. You know what I'm saying? You got a mountain on this side. You got half our tribes right here. Half of the heads of our tribes right here. You got a mountain on this side. Half of the heads of our tribes right here. All the people in the middle. And he said one side going to speak curses on the people. One side going to speak blessings on the people. Right? And what that signifies is that's how that's how the whole thing works. Most of our guys trying to let us know this is how the whole thing works. You got to come at you on every side. You just got to choose which side you're going to be on. That's why when y'all sure said, I would that you were warm, I mean that you were hot or cold. But since you warm, I'm going to spit you out because a lot of us try to stay in the middle. Right? Just like that picture tried to show them, it's a valley and a mountain on each side. You got to choose a mountain. You got to go where the curses are or where the blessings are. But if you stay in the middle, he's going to spit your butt out. You go where the curses are, he's going to spit your butt out. Choose one. Right? Keep going. And the Levites shall speak and say unto all the men of Israel with a loud voice. Uh-oh. Cursed be the man that makes... What did he start with? Cursed be the man that makes any graven or molten image. Why he didn't start with blessings? A lot of people, I mean, a lot of people ask you that. Be like, you know what? You always talk about the negative stuff of God. Why you got to start off with the negative of God? God love everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's that another. Why he didn't start off? My question is, why God? Why he didn't criticize God? Why I got to get all the blame? I'm just doing what the man did. Why I'm the one to get the blame? Why ain't nobody go to God and just be like, you know what? Uh, you know what I'm saying? God, why you start off being all negative in your Bible? Huh? Why you start off being right at the beginning of the Bible? Why you talking about the fall of Adam and Eve? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out why I get the blame. That's unfair to me. Somebody blame God too then. If we go, I mean, let's just be consistent. Right? Man said curse. That's what he started off with. He said, I'm going to give you some blessings and curses. Let me tell you, let me explain them. Guess what I'm going to start with? The curses. Keep going. Curse be he that sets light by his father or his mother. Wait, sorry. Uh -huh. Curse be the man that makes any graven or molten image an abomination unto the Lord. The uh -huh. work of the hands of the craftsman and puts it in a secret place. Uh-huh. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Amen. Right? He made us. He said, curse for this. He made you agree to it. So be it. Amen. What else? Curse be he that said it's light by his father or his mother. Uh-huh. And all the people shall say, Amen. Amen. Y'all better say darn amen. You know what I'm saying? It's the book. It's our law. Keep going. Curse be he that removes his neighbor's landmark. And all the people shall say, Amen. Amen. Curse be he that makes the blind to wander out of the way. And all the people shall say, Amen. 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 Curse be he that perverteth the judgment of the stranger, fatherless and widow. And all the people shall say, Amen. 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 
Curse be he that lies. We like we we get to praying in church, right? We uh, we all say amen. We get praying in church. Be, oh well, you know, and God, uh, I pray that uh, God bless Sister Coleman. Uh, and God, uh, I know that her heart has been failing her. Uh, uh, oh, but God, we know that a doctor has no control over her heart. God, uh, you guide that doctor's hands. God. Oh Lord, I want you to give him a steel hand. Uh, Stealer than uh, Mr. Steel himself. Uh, I be looking like, amen. Right? You say that? That's a good thing. Amen. Well, let's say it on the bad, too. Most like God say, amen. Let the people say, what? Amen. When was that time you heard a prayer? Listen, if these sinners come up in this church dressed like whores, these people come in here with their pants darn sagging, and they don't want to repent and obey the word, let they butt go to hell and let the church say, amen. When was the last time we heard it? That's right. If it's right on one end, how it's going to be wrong on the other? Let it be right on both sides. you got to have two sides. You be giving people one side, they ain't got no mountain on the other side. Tell the people the truth. Keep going. I appreciate the most high God for being fair. Cursed be he that perverts the judgment of the stranger, fatherless, wood, and widow, and all the people shall say amen. 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 Curse be he that lit curse be he that lies with his father's wife, because he uncovers his father's skirt. And all the people shall say Amen. 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 Curse be he that lies with the with any manner of beast, and all the people shall say Amen. 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 He lying on darn beast, a nasty butt. Curse be he that lies with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. And all the people shall say Amen. 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 Curse be he that lies with his mother in law. And all the people shall say, Amen. 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 Curse be he that smite his neighbor secretly, and all the people shall say, Amen. 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 Curse be he that takes reward to slay an innocent person, and all the people shall say, Amen. 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 Watch this. Curse be he that confirms not all the words of this law to do them. He said, Curse be he that confirms not all the words of this law to do them. What he say? And all the people shall say amen. Amen. You know what that do? Amen. You know what that thing light you up with? He said he, he hits you off with all them egregious ones. Don't move your neighbor's landmark. Oh, nah, I ain't never do nothing like that. Don't sleep with your, your, your father's wife. Nah, nah, I never do nothing like that. Very end, he ended off. He's like, oh, yeah. Anybody who don't confirm to do everything that's in this law, let they but be cursed. <laughs> Oh, it's like that guy. You know what I'm saying? No hesitation to say amen on that one. Amen. It's right. Right? It's going to be wrong if the most high God said do it. It's right. Right? That thing lights you up. This is why we need y'all for sure. Eat people trying to keep the law. You can try to keep the law until you blew in the, day, in the face. You know what I'm saying? You can just try to keep the law, keep the law, keep the law, keep the law. That thing be flawless too. We got people that did it. You can do it. You know what I'm saying? You sin and then keep the law. You can do it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't possible. But guess what? You still curse because you didn't confirm all of it. You still sin. So at that point, you still curse. You still need somebody to remove the curse. Who gonna do that? Only y'all sure. We got we got some sins you can remove by sacrifice. All right? We don't have no sin that'll remove the curse. We've never had any any I mean uh some sacrifice that you can remove uh sin. Right? But you don't have any sacrifice that say I'll remove the curse other than y'all sure. That's right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Baby, can you bring me some tissue? Yeah. Or send a boy here and bring me some. All right? Grab uh let's keep let's keep going. Let's go into it. So you notice he started off with the curses. Let's see what he started off with now. Let's see what he talked about next. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. This this Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 1. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all these commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Uh -huh. And all these blessings shall come on thee. All these what? Thee. All these blessings. So at first he gave you the curses. Notice the order that God works in. First he gave you the curses. Then he came back and he said, but if you do what I tell you to do and you confirm everything that's in this law, then all these blessings will come on you. Let's hear about the blessings. I want y'all to just keep score. He started off with curses. Now he's about to hit you with the blessings. Let's hear about it. 
Blessed shalt thou be in the city. And blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Uh huh. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Uh huh. Blessed shall be the basket and the store. Uh huh. Blessed shall thou be. The basket thou... and the store just mean blessed shall you know. So you go out to the field. Not only is the basket that you putting all your your new crops into, like when you harvest it, not only is that that gonna be blessed. Not only you got a whole lot of crops. But also your store. So you getting all these new crops and you, you ain't even got nowhere to put it. Because he's saying, bless your store. You know what I'm saying? And where you storing everything, that's going to be big. And then you also going to have baskets and new stuff that's going to be big. He said, both sides are going to be blessed. Keep going. Blessed shalt thou be when thou come in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou go out. Uh huh. The Lord shall cur the Lord the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. That's right. They shall come out against thee one way. And flee before these seven waves. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? They all come together like, yeah, let's get them. You look out. They go every darn which way trying to get away from our butt. It's our blessing. Let's hear about it. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou set thine hand unto. Uh-huh. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God gives thee. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. As he has sworn unto thee, mm -hmm. if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. Mm -hmm. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahuwah. That's right. And they shall be afraid of thee. Uh huh. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground. These are blessings. In the land going. which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Uh huh. The Lord shall open thee his good treasure. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. Uh -huh. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall make thee head, and not to tail. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. Uh -huh. If that thou hearken unto the Lord, unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day. To the right hand or to the left, uh -huh. to go after other gods and serve them. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Mm -hmm. Cursed shall thou be in a city. So hold on. How did this thing play out? How many verses is that? 14? 15? 15, yeah. 15 verses? So we had probably about, I don't know, 10. 12 verses of curses to start off with. Then he gave us about 14, 15 verses of blessings. Did he get right back into the curses? Y'all better learn what type of, type of God y'all operating with. All right, let's you, I mean, let's you, just give me the last, what's the la the number of the last verse? Because we at verse 15 right now, and we starting to talk about curses again. So I just want to see how long this might go. To 68. Goodness. Gracious, that sounds like a lot. I mean, maybe he switched back to, to blessings somewhere in here. So let's just read. Let's just see how far we can get before we can start getting the blessings again. Maybe he's just going back and forth. Let's see. Curse shall thou be in a city, and curse shall thou be in a field. Mm, you don't obey this word? Let me tell you what curse is going to come on you. Keep going. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Uh-huh. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Uh oh. Cursed shall thou be when thou come in, and cursed shall thou be when thou go out. Uh huh. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and mm -hmm. all that you set your hand unto for to do. 
mm-hmm. until you be destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings whereby you have forsaken me. Mm-hmm. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee uh-huh. until he has consumed thee from off the land where you go to possess. What are you talking about pestilence? Sickness. Please. Sickness. He going to make sickness consume us. Until, we, until when? We go from the land. Until we get our butt up out the land. That's already happened. Right? That's already happened. Right? Pestilence came against our people until we had to get up out the land. People dying, sick, hurt. You know what I'm saying? That's already happened. Let's keep going. The Lord shall smite thee with the consumption and with the fever and uh-huh. with an inflammation mm-hmm. and with an extreme burning mm-hmm. and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew. And Notice shall... all these different things. He said, and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew. That's already happened. Right? We look at it. That's how we got our butt up out of Israel. Right? That's how we left Israel. That's already happened. All right? Let's keep going. And they shall these are all curses that he said will happen if we disobey the law. So far, we've seen two of these curses already happen. Well, more than two. But, you know what I'm saying? Two we highlight. These things already happen. We can read about them in our book. All right? Let's see. Keep going. The Lord shall smite thee with the consumption and with fever and with inflammation uh-huh. and with extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew. Uh-huh. And they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Uh-huh. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thy under thee shall be iron. Uh huh. The Lord in other shall words, make. He said, he said, in other words, you ain't gonna be able to get nothing up out of the ground, and no rain coming down on top of you. No, I'm preaching the word. The Lord shall home. make the rain of thy land powder and uh-huh. dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. Mm-hmm. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. That's already happened. Right? And shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. He said, you going to do what? Be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Oh, so you thought Ezekiel was the first person that told us? When Yahushua was coming back, he told y'all, this is going to be the day where all been given up. I told y'all from the very beginning this was going to happen. He said, you're going to be removed into how many kingdoms? All nations. Just the Gentile kingdoms. All nations. I mean, just the white people. All nations. Get your butt. Where are you going to escape to? Take your butt out of Babylon. Go on and leave Babylon. Just so you can go to Babylon 2. Babylon 3 after that. Then Babylon 4. All right, bring your back on. You know what I'm saying? Bring, bring, come on back to your, your, your home of Babylon, the one you used to. Don't let these people make a fool out of us. Keep going. He said he's going to remove us into all nations. That's because of our disobedience. If you, if you never knew, if, you, if somebody was like, you know what? The Israelites are the black people. And you was just like iffy about it. Let's just read Deuteronomy chapter 28. And let's just see how much of it line up with how our, 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 uh, our experience in this world. Keep going. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Uh-huh. Thou shalt go out one way against them and shall flee before them. Seven ways, uh-huh. and shall be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. Uh huh. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all the fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. You know, you want to know what happened in the south? You know what I'm saying? What they used to do is they used to take our people, they used to take ropes, they used to string us up, and put us on trees, or poles, or anything high that we could hang from. And what was the reason that they did that? Was that the most effective way to kill a person? No, nah, what was the what was what was the reason for it? Make everybody scared. Scare people to bring terror on people, right? So if you want to bring terror on somebody, right? You want to you want to kind of teach a slave a lesson, you know, to teach a teach a black person a lesson. You would hang them like that so that they could see their brothers, you know, hanging like that, and they look at him and they say, "That could be me. This is what these people would do to me." You know what I'm saying? So then he'd act up. You know what I'm saying? He'd get he'd get in line. He'd be like, you know what? I'm not messing with. You know what I'm saying? You see what they did. You know what I'm saying? You see what they did to our brother. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't about to matter. I'm just going to do what I'm supposed to do. Leave these people alone. I'm not about to do it. So they would do that to scare us. So in order for that to be more effective in terms of scaring us, you might have to lead a body up there longer. So when the body is up there, naturally, after a day or so, guess what's going to come looking for that body? Beasts. Birds. And nobody afraid them away. Who going to afraid them away? Who gonna say, get that crow away from that dead body? Right? Who gonna stop the dogs from trying to eat it, eat the body after they chop it down? They gonna feed them to the dogs. They used to feed us to the dogs. 
read that one more time. I just want to know who this line up to. When these white Jewish people ever go through this. Keep going. And thy carcass shall be meat unto the fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. Mm. Keep going. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, uh -huh. and with the emroids, and with the scab, and with uh -huh. the itch, whereof thou canst not be healed. Uh-huh. That's all these diseases. Who number one in diseases? Black people. Black people. We number one in, we number one in almost all the negative stuff. You know what I'm saying? You start talking about stuff these people consider positive, our butt be dead darn last. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to something that's negative, heart attack, heart disease, diabetes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, we number one or close to it. Like uh, autism and all that stuff. All that stuff. Number one or darn close to it. Most high God told you, boy, I'm going to give you the botch, just like that thing was in Egypt. What's wrong with y'all? You know, when we left Egypt, you know what he told us in Genesis chapter 15? Exodus chapter 15? He said, uh, he said I'll take these things. You obey these commandments and I'll do what? I'll heal you. He said, I'll be Yahuwah Rapha out of you. These people call him Jehovah Rapha. You know what I'm saying? But it's Yahuwah Rapha to you. I'll be your darn healer. I'll take away. He, we came right up out of Egypt. He's letting you know. You keep my commandments, I'll get all that stuff up off of you. Promise ain't changed. He telling us this is what you do if you stop doing the commandments. Keep going. That's why we got all these diseases. And people eat that darn nasty pork. Keep going. The Lord shall smite thee with the madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Uh-huh. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness. Uh -huh. And thou shalt not prosper in, in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Mm -hmm. He no said, no matter what, you're you going to be oppressed and spoiled. You know what spoiled means? Right. Well, it don't mean like, like people, you know what I'm saying, they rocking you in the, right. in the baby chair. They going to take from you. No matter what, you're going to be oppressed and taken from evermore. How many black famous people we didn't hear? I mean, they made it, though. They made it. How many stories we hear about them getting robbed? Somebody, you know what I'm saying, they die and you hear they die broke because the whole time we thought they had money. Somebody was eating up their darn money. You know what I'm saying? How many rappers ain't got, you know what I'm saying, talented? You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to this day. How many singers? Ain't got nothing to this darn day. What about the six? There's some successful ones, so. There's some. Man, give me give me one that's like like really, really successful. Not right now? No, I mean like period. From Beyonce? <laughs> Beyonce pretty successful. You know what I'm saying? We'll see her story end up. You know what I'm saying? Who else, who else we got? Jay. Jay, yeah, Jay pretty successful. You know what I'm saying? We'll see how his story end up. Who else? What about Michael Jackson? He did pretty well. You know what I'm saying? Broke all types of records. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He is in a bad deal. Got himself out of it. You know what I mean? Then he ended up buying half of Sony Publishing. Don't nobody do nothing like that? He bought half of Sony. You mean to tell me when the Beatles drop an album or sell an album, Michael Jackson get paid? The Beatles? Oh, that's amazing. Now, that's success there. Next thing you know, he wind up darn dead. Who own it now? Sony again. <laughs> right? We look at all these things, because he said continually, yo, but I don't even care if you bleach your darn skin, boy. You still about to get robbed. And I'll kill you to do it. You smart. I like the way you did it. Now your butt got to go. <laughs> right? No matter how you look at it, they're going to find a way to rob us. Why? Because the Most High God said continually you'll be oppressed and spoiled. Jay-Z ain't going to no different. He ain't no different. You know what I'm saying? They lining this butt up too. All these business deals you doing, you think that's just him? You think that's just him just putting his money up like, yeah, I want to buy a title. Yeah, I want to buy this alcohol. Yeah, I want to buy this. I want to buy it. No, it ain't just him. He got deals with French people. You know what I'm saying? These Gentiles in the background that's with him, they putting up the money. You know what I'm saying, JT? It's a business. I mean, it's business. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? You spend somebody else's money to get it, and you get a little piece of it. Same thing with the Brooklyn Nets. We all thought, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, he's an owner of the Brooklyn Nets. You know what I'm saying? He sold that thing so quick. He got his Rock Nation sports deal. You know what I'm saying? Sold that thing. You know what I'm saying? And it came out. That boy, owned, he owned like 0.8%. 0.8, not 0.8. 0.8%. 
0.8% of the Brooklyn Nets. It's minutes. Boy, ain't nobody. We, what do you think they had him on there? Why do you think they let him be owner? Because we moved the culture to get everybody to come to the team. We got to move this thing to Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. We need this to be a money maker. You the man in Brooklyn. All black people like to play basketball. Black people like when y'all own some stuff. I tell you what. You can have this little. You own that. <laughs> right? You own that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jesse, you, you want to give up any of your ownership? I ain't giving up none of mine. You, you don't want to give up? I ain't giving up none of mine. Not to that. You know what I'm saying? Not to that. Negro, I ain't about to give up. You don't give No, not to that. Ne- yeah. I'll give you this. That's it. What Jay going to do? Not take it? Because when Jay, you know how we, we smart. We don't look at it and be like, you think you playing me. I'm about to play you. Because I'm about to do this, flip this, and I got something else in plan. So that's why he launched his Rock Nation. So he be trying to eat off of them like they eat off. That's what we got to do. That's the only way they can do it, right? They ain't going to end up well, though. No matter what, they're going to find some type of way. Why? Not because they smart. Not because they smarter than us. Only because we're playing against God. You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing, we ain't playing against them. We eat them. We eat their butt up every time. We way smarter than these people. But we playing against God. God going to line that thing up like, uh-huh, don't worry about it. Yeah, he'll let them accidentally do some stuff. That's how it always happens. There's Illuminati stuff everybody be dreaming about. Yeah, Illuminati, they're controlling. Ain't controlling nothing. These people be stumbling on stuff. Oh, well, that worked. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what they darn doing. Yeah, sure, some people with influence and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They not sitting here planning 200 years in advance that this is going to happen and this is how we want it to happen and everything. Is go- yeah, right. I work with these darn people. They can't even plan a week out. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't about to fool me. I met a couple white people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all ain't about to fool y'all just as dumb as the rest of us. Y'all need to cut that stuff out. Ain't no Illuminati. Keep going. <laughs> and thou shalt grope at noonday in the, as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Uh-huh. And no man shall save thee. No man shall save thee. You know what that means? Redeem. No man is going to redeem. So, I mean, even though you get, like, Marcus Garvey, he come from, uh, where he came from? Like, the Caribbean? You know what I'm saying? He came from Caribbean, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Marcus Garvey, he come from the Caribbean. I think he is, like, the first. It was somebody before Marcus Garvey. Who was it before him? Uh, Gandhi? What was that, Buddy? No, not Gandhi. Uh, Gandhi was, no, he didn't mess with black people. Uh, who came before Marcus Garvey? Uh, Frederick Doug- Douglass. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you got yeah, yeah. Frederick Douglass. Was he from America? He from America, right? He was a slave, wasn't he? Yeah, I believe so. So you got Frederick Douglass, you know what I'm saying? He was the man. He couldn't save us. Then I believe after that, the next big thing, and I'm probably missing some because I ain't the best with all this history, but you know what I'm saying? I think you got Marcus Garvey next. He came from he came from the Caribbean. There are people, but he came from the Caribbean. You know what I'm saying? He came out here trying to get it in for us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? He gets stopped. You know what I'm saying? He's a martyr. They kill him. You know what I'm saying? Then, uh, then you know what I'm saying? Fast forward a bit. You know what I'm saying? You got the popular ones, Martin Luther King, you got the Black Panthers, Fred Hampton, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, Huey P. Newton, uh, 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 Carmichael, you know what I'm saying? You got uh, uh, Malcolm X, of course, you know what I'm saying? You got Malcolm X, Farrakhan is still around. Yeah, they say uh, Abraham Lincoln was talking that reparation stuff and they talked it. They say. Abraham Lincoln wasn't talking no reparations. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little believe. hard to believe. <laughs> people always tell me lies. So I, don't know. Hey, I was Abraham like, I don't Lincoln. remember hearing about that one, bro. Hold up. Yeah, they always trying to paint Abraham Lincoln like he's something else other than what he was. He didn't care nothing about no black people. He said so many mess up things about black people. Sold us out so many times. Yeah, it's crazy. Emancipation Proclamation. Plea. That was a political move. I was political. I think it was all about yeah, money. Yeah, because the South was getting too much money. They yeah, out there getting it. money in the South. Yeah. It's out here caking up. You know what I'm saying? But the people in the North, they went away from that stuff because they like, man, we don't want to do this to slaves no more. We don't want this. They ain't like the slave mentality in society. You know what I'm saying? Black people are a little too restless down South. You got to look over your shoulder all the time. You never know if it's going to be a slave revolt. They didn't like that stuff up North. It wasn't out of the kindness of their heart either. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to do it, but it wasn't just because, of, oh my goodness, it was a slave there. There's some people that was like that. Not all of them was evil. You know what I'm saying? It's just a victim to the time. You know what I'm saying? That's what everybody doing. So it's a victim to the time to some degree. And they just ain't had a heart to stand up and say, this is foolish. And I'll die for it. And I'm going to help these people and I'll die for it. They ain't had that heart. Most I got to put that heart in them. 
But at the end of the day, white people wasn't doing it out of the kindness of their heart. They're looking like, I don't want to live looking over my shoulder with these slaves. It ain't worth it for me. So then they say that, they go up north. The north starts to get rid of it more and more. You know what I'm saying? And really, they just had different types of slaves. They just didn't have hard labor slaves. They had, like, maids and stuff like that. All of them was house Negroes, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, still, yeah, it's looking like, man, it's a different. They didn't really consider them slaves after a while. You know what I'm saying? So when that happens, it's a whole lot of money to be made down south. They running that thing like a, you know what I'm saying, like a prison. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we don't mind looking over our shoulder. You know what I'm saying? I'll whoop this boy back. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? He better not stand up. They try to get us all under control, all under control, all under control. They reckon in. Don't. What do you think the North going to do? I forgot what the equivalent was, but it was a lot of money. They reckon in. Don't. What do you think the North is going to do at that point? Like the economy struggling up here. Y'all got to give us some of that. That's not fair. You know what else was happening? For every slave you own, that was another vote. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of stuff they ain't told us. So for every slave that they own, that was one vote. One-fifth of a vote. No, that's the law that they had to change. Uh. It was one vote. So me, I'm a slave owner. I got five slaves. When it's time to vote, I'm voting six times. Because I own them. I get six votes. That's what they was fighting over. They ain't fighting over that type of stuff. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? I got representation. I own them. So they, they, that's what they went to war. They went to war over money. Oh, yeah, sure. Over money. Yeah. Wasn't nobody doing nothing. Else. The Emancipation Co- Proclamation was over money. <laughs> nah, set they butt free. Y'all ain't about to treat us. You know what I'm saying? We got to be on an even playing field here. Don't let these people fool you. And then right after that, they started inviting the Mexicans in. Let these people fool you with this stuff. Keep going. Thou shalt betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her. That ain't happen. Our people, our, our moms and our dads didn't come to this land with their wife just to have a white man sleep with her. That's it. This ain't got nothing to do. Look, this ain't got. You know what they tell us? There's people white. There's a white person that'll watch this right now and be like, "Y'all racist," because we recount y'all history. I ain't even got nothing against the white people. I'm just letting you know that's what y'all did. Y'all got to come to terms with it. Everybody got to come to terms with this stuff. It ain't no way you make it into the kingdom you don't come to terms with that. How you going to make it into the kingdom you don't come to terms with that? You going to sit there lying to yourself all day. Most like God ain't going to let you make it into the kingdom. You got to come to terms with that stuff. Yeah, my people was evil and that stuff was wrong. That stuff was wrong. It was wrong. Why is that difficult to say? It was wrong. And I benefited from it. Why is that hard for a white person to say? Mm-hmm. I'm not even tripping on you. Like, yeah, I ain't got no problem with you. Yeah, like, we go out and have a little orange juice. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? I'm tripping on you. I'm just trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Don't get offended because I want to talk about racism. Y'all, I've dealt with it my whole life. Why well, I can't talk about it? Why everything get all uncomfortable when I get to talk about it? When you start bringing race into it. It's not about race. Why is it never about race? Obviously it is. It's been about race this whole time. Why is it not now? I mean, if, it no about race, if it wasn't about race, I don't think my people would have got treated the way they did. So. Well, so accountability, you can that, you can kind of clean that stuff up. Yeah. When no, nobody, you know, no accountability, then it's just like... Oh, nobody want to talk about it. Yes. Keep going. What else we got? Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Uh-huh. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. I mean, this thing is double. I mean... Not only if we build houses in Israel, then they got us up out of there before we can live in them. On top of that, we build these people houses. We plant these people fields. And guess what? You can't have none of it, boy. You better go back there. You know what I'm saying? Go get some cheap food. Go get the watermelon. You know what I'm saying? You go get that cheap stuff. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, ahead, go ahead and get them the watermelon or something. They ain't like the watermelon at first. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go get the food. Uh, I don't know. Take take the nasty pig. Go ahead, give them the pig. Don't give them the good parts of the pig. Give them the chitlins. Give them the intestines. Right, all this stuff that we that, that you know what I'm saying we customarily eat, it's because it was the worst part, and we had to try to freaking eat that thing and make it up, and now we sell it back to them. They want the way we, they want. They gave us the worst part. Like that's nasty. We ain't about to eat that. We done cooked that thing up, freaking eat it. 
And then now we sell it to them at Soul Food. You go to a Soul Food restaurant, they all up in the restaurant. Everybody in there darn nasty for eating that stuff. You ought to be ashamed of your darn self. I never, Have some self-respect. I, 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 I never, never, never eat the pigs in te- How you gonna eat one of the most dirty animals in testings? I've never eat that. Nasty I, little. I, I, I ain't never. Even when I was a Gentile on my own mind, I ain't no darn pig uh, intestines. Uh, I knew that thing was wrong. Most I got put that thing on my heart from a child. Bro, you can man. smell that thing. That thing is disgusting. I'm gonna eat some intestines. Bro. I ain't eat nobody intestines, first of all. That's crazy. People have lost their darn mind. But just the mindset they put us in. And they say you got to clean them first. Like, how you, yeah, you, you going to clean how poop? You <laughs> how you going to clean poop? Like, hold on. I got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to bring some tissue you can clean, too. Go ahead and get that clean. When you, when, I'll bring you some tissue you can clean. You clean that, I eat your intestines. I eat the intestines you prepare. If you can clean this tissue I'm about to bring to you, you clean that off. Make that thing good where you, you will do something with it. Then I, I eat the intestines. You can't clean no intestines. It don't make no darn sense. You just gonna clean. You gonna wash some poop off, spray some lights on some poop. You got an old turd of poop. You spray some lights on it and be like, all right, you good. I'll slap you in your darn mouth. You better pick up that darn turd and throw it in the drawer. That's nasty. You be with nasty. That's crazy. God never can do it, man. Nah, that's, a, that's the God in you, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Praise the most high God. I used to smell that thing and was like, Marky Ooh. Mama used to cook them, bro. I used to be like, I ain't I'm never not eat that. Never. 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 <laughs> Keep going. What else we got? Thine ox shall be slain before your eyes, and you shall not eat thereof. Uh-huh. Your donkey shall be violently taken away from before your face, and shall not be restored to you. Uh-huh. Your sheep shall be given unto your enemies, and you shall have none to rescue them. Uh-huh. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people. Your what? Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people. When did this happen in history? I mean, it's well documented. They would take us and split us up from our, our children. He said, sons and daughters will be given to another people. Keep going. And your eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it. In other words, he said you gonna be failing for long. You gonna be like my baby. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what our people went through? All because we didn't obey the word. Sure, we. I'm mad at the white man too. Yeah, we upset about it. that thing. Is wrong. It's wrong. At the end of the day. Most high God laid this thing out, not the white man. White man ain't telling, yo, obey God, I'm coming to get you, but no, no, no. Most high God laid this thing out like, yeah, I just want you to know, these are curses. Oh, and these are blessings. But this is what the curses really look like. If you don't want to serve me, I'm going to make sure you serve somebody. Somebody going to get served. You want to serve me? Serve them instead then. Let's see how good, how that work out for you. <laughs> you serve me, my yoke is light. That was the man trying to tell us. You serve me, I'm going to make that thing easy for you. Okay, you don't want to serve me? Serve them for it. Go ahead. Go ahead and serve them folks. They'll be all right. You don't like them, won't you? Make a fool out of them. Keep going. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which you know not eat up. Uh huh. And you shall be only oppressed and crushed the always. The fruit of thy what? Land. So I just need to know who lines up with this prophecy. He's not saying the fruit of this land. He's saying the fruit of thy land. Who going to eat it? A nation that you know not is going to eat it up. So I don't know where these German Gentiles came from, and they went over into our land. Well, we've been familiar with, like, Germans. We wouldn't have been familiar with Germans. Not in that time, no. That would have been too far away from us. Where did these Germans come from, and they talking about they the Jews, and then they eating up the fruit of our land? I mean, we would have knew. The Arabs, we would have known. You know what I'm saying? We would have been familiar with the Arabs. Arab took our land too. They they've been in our land too. Egyptians, Babylonians. All that. That's all around. You know what I'm saying? We would have knew that. Persians. Yeah. Greek. Like we familiar with all that. You start getting too far out. You know what I'm saying? Like even the Greeks. Like we know the Greeks. Greeks. We you know what I'm saying? We can mess with Greek. But you get past the Greek Germans? No, we ain't never met no Germans. These German came through. We don't know nothing about them. But guess who? Guess who land they in? Ours. Guess who they say they are? Us. I didn't even know. Who lines up with this prophecy? Who else been in the land? Right? Let's just assume we don't know who the Jews are. But what we do know is that there's been pretty much two groups of people in the land of Israel. Right? 
there's been people from the Middle East and one group of people not from the Middle East. Right? So if the prophecy says a people that you're not familiar with, whoever the Jews are, would be familiar with people from the Middle East. So then that leaves the people that's not from the Middle East being the people that we're not familiar with. So that means the people that's not from the Middle East who say they Jews can't be the actual Jews because if they were the Jews, everybody else that's been in the land, they've been familiar with. All right, for sure. For sure. Let these people lie to y'all if y'all want to. I can read. That's all I know. It's few things that the most high God did for me. Reading is one of them. I can read, and I can understand what I read. I look at this thing, that thing's pretty clear to me. Keep going. I didn't want to know who else lined up with this book if it ain't us. That thing lined up very nicely. So thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Uh huh. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs and with sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot to the top of thy head. That's like gout. Keep going. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known. He said, the king that what? You rule over thee. No, no, no. Set over thee. The, the king, king that, that you who? shall set over thee. That you shall set over thee. You know what the difference is? So we had kings, and the Most High God set them up, right? And then they could pass down. But after that, the kingdom stopped. When we was in Africa, we started to set up kings over us again. You know what I'm saying? We started to set up little chiefs and kings over us. You know what I'm saying? So he took us and brought us over into slavery. He said, you and your darn king that you said over you. All right? Keep going. You can read about it. We read about it when we did our presentation. Uh, when, uh, when we were talking about Eldad. You know what I'm saying? We were talking about Eldad. He talked about, I, I believe it was Eldad, if I'm not mistaken. He talked about uh, he talked about his brother was a king or something like that. All right? So you read that, we started to set kings over us again. All right? And they, they wasn't according to our law. It wasn't according to our history. All right? Keep going. Unto a nation which neither thou nor your fathers have known. So think about it. What group of people went to a nation in captivity which neither their fathers or them knew? America was a brand new nation around them. Time. Brand new. We ain't never seen these people. We ain't never seen them. America like the newest nation in the world. What captivity can these white Jewish people say they went into? Hitler? That was captivity? That was a war. That was a war. Y'all was over there. Y'all was familiar with the people. Y'all chose to go there. So y'all say, if they, if you let their story tell it, they migrated from Israel and went over there. That means you're familiar with the people. Okay, so you migrated somewhere that you chose to go, got familiar with the people. It all goes bad. You're in captivity. Let's call it Holocaust captivity. Okay, for sure. For the sake of argument, you were in captivity. All right. But you're familiar with the people. So now, Speaking what group of people, know. huh? They spoke the language and everything. Spoke the language. Yiddish and all that. All right? So now, what group of people were taken captives by a brand new nation? Something they wasn't familiar with and their history wasn't familiar with. Remember, he said both. That's how you The most like God going to cover itself. If, if he just would have said, your father wasn't familiar with it, then the white Jewish people could kind of have a claim. They could say, well, see, we migrated over here. Sure, we got to know them, but our fathers didn't know them. But he said very clearly, they weren't familiar, nor were their, the history familiar. So historically, we didn't know nothing about these people. And when we got taken, we didn't know nothing about these people. I don't know who that could be talking about. Because I can only think of one group of people. That's the Hebrew that was taken up out of Africa. All right, keep going. And there shall thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Uh-huh. And thou shalt become we a... Got, we got the wood and the stone Jesus pieces. You know what I'm saying? You're going to serve other gods, wood and stone. Keep going. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. An astonishment. People look at us and be like, ah, shake their head at us. A proverb. People always got saying, yeah, you know what black people do. Black people do this. You know how black people are like that. Well, don't do that around black people. You know black people do this. And then a byword. They call us black. They call us 
They call us uh, Negro. They call us nigger. They call us they call us pokies. Color. They call us darn color. Right? They call us African American. Right? They call us people of color. Right? It's just that different from color. That they always that they always got under my skin. I'm like, hold on. So you can't say colored people, but you can say people of color. Like how stupid is that? How stupid do we gotta be to sit there? I will, I can't wait to see and then put it, make a mistake, put a camera on me. I can't wait to that. I'm a I'm a bait them into saying that thing to me. I'm a light they butt up. Hold on, hold on. If you call me a colored person, they probably kick you off the air, huh? But you can sit here right in my face and call me a person of color, and it's all good. You an idiot. I ain't gonna call him it because that's against our law. Most our God said, Y'all sure, y'all sure said, you know what I'm saying? If you if you even say rocker, and rocker just mean, you know what I'm saying, dumb, you know what I'm saying, crazy in the head. You know what I'm saying? He said, if you even say rocker, you in danger of the, of the judgment. You know what I'm saying? So you can't call him it. But goodness gracious. You gonna say some silly stuff like that, and we just go for it. We just eat that stuff up. I'm a person of color. You ain't no person of color. Stop being stupid. You ain't no person of color. That's foolish. We Hebrews. Call us what we are. Keep going. Israelites. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field and shalt gather but little in, for uh -huh. the locusts shall consume it. Uh -oh. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coasts, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil. For thine olive shall cast this fruit. Uh -huh. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. That's right. He said that again. He's like, he said, don't forget, your kid's going. All right, keep going. All the trees of the and fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. Uh -huh. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Uh oh, that's just how it is here, right? I mean, how long we been here? 400 years. 400 years next year. According to they reckoning of it, all right? They, according to they reckoning of it, we came here in 1619, all right? That's when they say the first slave got here, all right? According to they reckoning, you know, you got some people that dispute that, say it was earlier, say it was later, but according to they reckoning, they say it was 1619, all right? Next year, be 400 years. So we've been here 400 years. How long America been around? Mm, about, what's it, 15? All right, so about two, about, you know what I'm saying, America been around over 200 years. You know what I'm saying, maybe three. Right? Oh, you mean like after the Revolutionary War and stuff? Yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying, like the actual American independence, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like 1776, 75, something like that. All right. So we've been here before the show started. Right? We've been here before the show started. I mean, the colonies was here a little bit before us, a little bit before us, though. Just a tad before us, not really much. Was the Mexicans here back then? No. Somehow they got up above us, though. Read that again for me. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. So how did the Mexicans get up above us? Because we curse. Okay, hold on, hold on. What about the Arabs? They come? Asian. I mean, they own corner stores and all that type of stuff. Asian, every darn city, they got their own part of town. You got Koreatown. You got Chinatown. You know what I'm saying? They got their own part of town almost every major city. How'd they get above us? I don't know who this, I don't know who this book could be talking about. Was it the Irish? Huh? Uh, the European peasants Dr. King was talking about. Like yeah. Stuff. Irish came over here. You know, what, you know what a lot of people say? Irish were slaves too. No, they wasn't. No, they was indentured servants. Yeah. That was an investment. You know what I'm talking about? Ours wasn't no investment. We ain't had no 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 back end on ours. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like it ain't like we it ain't like we you know it ain't like we put a whole bunch of money into a savings account. We can't spend it, and we broke for a little while. But at the very end of this thing, it's gonna pay off. No no no. For us, it would just give me all your money. You never getting it back. For the IRS, it was just all right for sure. You you doing bad? Well, do all this work for me, and after this much time. You'll be, you be all right. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll take you over to America, but you got to work for me for this many, this many years. After that, you on your own. Now the Irish can go out and he can go make something happen. You, you know, in America, you. they were giving away land. They wanted people to have land. They are giving it away. 
We can't get no land to live for it now. They would charge us out the butt. You never gave us 40 acres. You know what I'm saying? They would have hit us. They would have hit us. Never gave us our 40 acres. They would have they hit us with the high interest rates. Even, you know what I'm talking about? Even people with good credit and a lot of money still got high interest rates. Yeah. 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 That's a fact. What verse we on? 43. 43. We're going to finish, finish up next week. You know what I'm saying? We're going to finish up next week. It's still some more to go. We can go all the way to 68. We're going to finish up next week. This is what y'all see. I don't know who this thing could be talking about. You can let these people lie to you and tell you about who you are and all this stuff. Your history in the book if you if you're a descendant of the slaves. You're a descendant of the slaves? Your history in the book. You're not a descendant of the slaves? That's all right. You know what I'm saying? Our history in the book. Celebrate it. It's still God. Right? It's still God. You would have served, you would have served him when you found out it wasn't us. Don't try to switch up now. Support us. The most high God will bless you if you bless us. And guess what's going to happen if you curse us? That's all right. Any questions? Let's pray out.